Agustin Hense, team. Uh, this is above about uh, embedded ARM development in Debian. Um, I will talk about the progress that uh, we made since uh, last year in Switzerland until now. Um, uh, we were missing a toolchain in the archive uh, for embedded the uh, ARM system and well now we have one <laughs> a good one uh, what does means embedded system here <laughs> uh, when, when we talk about this we are talking about something that without the, an operative system uh, you need to manage the hardware resources uh, you need to deal with this um, but if if you want, you can put an operating system. At the end, you always you you always generate uh, just one file that you upload uh, into the microcontroller. Um, with this toolchain, you you never will generate a Debian package. Uh, Debian is just the building environment. That's let's clear <laughs> that. Um, <coughs> this toolchain supports uh, three big groups uh, of, of ARM processors. Uh, the first one is the Cortex A. Uh, if for application use, it's uh, the, the same that we have in ARM HF or ARMR uh, for ARM B7. Uh, the instruction set is that we have. In, in that uh, architectures, in that ports. Uh, the other one is uh, the Cortex R. This is for real time real time application, and the extraction set is the the V7 R. Um, if you need uh, a real time a, a robot a, a, robot, a robot response, uh, you you want one of that because this have it, it has uh, two processors running in parallel, and the output is compared. If it doesn't match, this raise a signal that you can catch or you can reboot if it doesn't match the output. Uh, in the last uh, are the Cortex-M. They are for multipurpose uh, Devices, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> they are the most cheap, so we are focused on that. Uh, well, nothing looks. You can you cannot read that, but uh, in the left column, we, uh, it has uh, which CPU you are using, and the middle column. Uh, the command line option that you need to pass GCC, and here the instruction set. That, that is, uh, in Test, test, oh, very good. Well, next slide. What do we have on Debian now? Uh, the, the GCC build is uh, from the, the GCC Debian source uh, with some patches applied to support the, the architectures that I mentioned before. Uh, we, we have, uh, we, that this toolchain supports uh, multiple instruction sets, V6M, V7M, V7EM, etc. And also with uh, FPU or without FPU, it depends the combination. De depend the, it depends the chip that you have. Uh, also, we have uh, uh, two firmware uploaders. 
uh, LPC21 ISP is for NXP chips and uh, NXP manufacturers. And the LM4 tools is for uh, in Texas Instruments. Yeah. Also, w you can use OpenOCD for many others, but that are most simple. Simple. Uh, <coughs> we have uh, some examples uh, with the linker scripts and the make file that you can use for start a project from scratch. And we have the uh, C and C++ library. The C library is the new la the new lib, uh, but I am la uploading this uh, in DevConf. Uh, that it try tries to reduce the footprint uh, of the san the C standard library. It's uh, optimized in size and does not include the floating point uh, by default at uh, standard input output. Uh, <coughs> And well, if you have uh, any suggestion or comment, please do. Uh, we need some help. Uh, I would like to have a, a, a how to uh, start a project from scratch, and I don't know uh, something else that you consider necessary. Uh, if you want to help, uh, I have a beautiful to do. <laughs> I, I I don't know if if the the first one is uh, really a good idea, but we can do that. We can upload uh, other C and C plus plus library, and everything will be work fine. Uh, what else? Well, I, I would like to have a Pi OCD that that is based uh, on CMC's DAP. Uh, so uh, many, I think, every, every chips that supports this uh, will be supported by, by that uh, project. Uh, I would like to have, I would love to have uh, the VSP for each microcontroller, like uh, AVR uh, libc does uh, have. Um, what else? Well, I, I found uh, that that library that uh, supports uh, many many chips, but it lacks or it lacks other many. So I don't know if you know uh, any library that we can use. So please. Um, <laughs> well, ideas, <laughs> comments. This is above, so uh, I would like to, to listen what do you use you frequently. Uh, I don't know. What is the, 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 the use, uh, the, often, the often problem that you have with this, uh, with this tool chain, with another tool chain that you use? What do you use right now? Summon arm tool chain, maybe? Do you have any problem with that? Anyone uses another one? Would I re recommend? You may want to have a look at embed, embed the door. I was saying that you may want to have a look at embed the door. It's, a, uh, it's an interesting... Uh, it's doesn't work. work. It's simply just for streaming only. Oh. I don't mind. I can speak up, no problem. <laughs> uh, so uh, org, so that's the uh, interesting mixture of an online tools with uh, with open source libraries for microcontrollers. Oh, okay. that's great. Just you know, just have a look at the browser. Just uh, quite literally embed as in m b e d dot org, and um, the general idea, the general the general workflow there is that you actually type your code and build it online in a, in a web browser. There is a uh, sort of IDE and a compiler behind it, but oh, you can nice. but you can you can export those projects and then build them with GCC if you want to. It's just you know it's a, it's very different. You may want to have a look at the uh, at at what they are doing and uh, there is a there is a very vibrant community behind it. So there are people doing crazy stuff. It's 
more or less the, this this feel of Raspberry Pi community, but more uh, well, more microcontroller oriented. Do you, do you know if they have a a, a tool for start a, a project from scratch? Oh Some yeah. yeah, yeah. So so there is a uh, th they they support directly a bunch of uh, p platforms, uh, like from ST Microelectronics, you have the Nucleus ones, so small boards. Small boards with uh, with some Cortex M micros or the uh, Freedom board from Freescale, oh, this nice. kind of you know low cost uh, low cost uh, low cost boards and they they are either well directly supported in the tool so effectively you just click, uh, you just select the board and you will it will it will build it with with the correct with the correct bootstrap code, with the correct initialization you just type your code in C plus plus and you've got a bunch of uh, of libraries and the uh, probably the one feature that may, that is even more interesting is the way you actually program the uh, uh, program the target. So the uh, all the boards have a additional micro on board, which uh, act as a master device, and you just plug the board into your into USB. It shows up as a drive, and you copy the uh, the build uh, image to it. Reset the board; it works. <laughs> oh. Do you know the the license is free software? So yeah, the all the libraries have been released. I think it's MIT or uh, Apache license. Oh, it's not GPL, but it's in one of the permissive ones. And they even have, there is even the uh, a disclaimer I actually work for ARM, and that's an ARM project as well. <laughs> I should have started with this. Okay. <laughs> I don't work, <laughs> sorry, uh, I don't work with the embed guys. They live two floors above me. Me neither, know, uh, me neither. Well. I don't work for ARM. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so anyway, so, um, uh, and there is also the, uh, the hardware kit, uh, which is al also open source, so it gives you information what to put into the uh, this additional chip, what kind of firmware should be there, in That's order cool. to make it embed compatible. Oh, great! And I say it, then this is aimed more as uh, at uh, rapid prototyping, so you just do stuff, and then when you actually go to production, you export it and build it with, uh, if you want to, obviously, uh, you build it with the uh, with the host hosted tool chain. Oh, perfect. Let's have cool. a look. There's a, there's a lot of ideas there. I, I will take a look. Uh, some someone else? Any question? Insult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Everything. We take everything. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. No. 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 no? Over no, there. Thanks. Have you used OpenOCD? <laughs> Yeah, I tried. Uh, it's really, really kind of sucked. No, the, the, I, it casts many configurations, uh, so you have uh, uh, a boiler, boilerplate. Uh, it's really big, but but it works. Yeah, my experience depends a bit on which chip you use it for. It works okay on M3, I think, and even on M7, but it doesn't work very well on A9 or something like that. <laughs> Anything newer seems to be not supported very well. Okay, I didn't know that. Someone else? If you've had experiences in, in this, I wonder if there's some, uh, you know, diagnostic learning at the development boards or something, or common hardware, that someone who want to get started, like this year. I mean, there might be some old stuff, but what what might be obtainable hardware that could be used in this way? Uh, I think that one one uh, easy board is uh, the the launch was Stellari launch from Texas uh, because well we have the tool from debugging and uploading the the firmware and and you have uh, uh, many examples to to start so. I, I think that this is cool. Uh, it's uh, nine nine dollars or eight dollars, something like that. Because I was I was going to say Freedom Board from Fiscal is also interesting because it also costs something like ten bucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's important, right? Yeah, it's it's really important. <laughs> so, uh, what is a typical object code size for your just as the OS? Uh, uh, the, uh, you are mentioning about the ABI. Yeah. Uh, well, we have many uh, ARM, ARM, ARM <laughs> V7 or s start from ARM V6 and V7 uh, with uh, different combinations with the FPU or without the FPU. Yeah. 
Um, talking about where to get sort of devices to play with, there's, I think they're Czech company called Olimex, who do a very, very wide range of, of little boards with lots of different CPUs in. Bulgarian, are they? Bulgarian. Oh, they're near, near, nearby. Um, <laughs> um, but they're, they're, they're very cheap and the boards are well supported. You can get the schematics for them. Um, and when we were doing the Entropy Key, we prototyped on Olimex boards quite happily and built all the software under Debian just using, I think we were using the Code Sorceries C compiler and ST's libraries that they provided open for driving, and it was actually pretty painless. Well, if you can, uh, if you want to upload that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Daniel Silverstone has on his website a whole build environment that you just plug in your favored version of GCC, and it gives you a sort of make menu config-like interface for saying, I'm using this particular part, um, and I want these features. This is the pinout that I want, and it sort of creates a project for you, which you can then just fill in reasonably easily. But that's specific to the ST um, uh, Cortex M's. I don't think yeah, it supports it's anything Cortex else. M4 or M3, I think. Yeah, it, it just does the ST ones. It doesn't do any of the the Texas or uh, NXP ones. But I, I imagine it could be extended. It's, it's to the same. It's, it is yeah. the same. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes, the, the BS, <laughs> yes, yes, the BSP is uh, is missing here. Uh, if you know uh, about some project, yes, you can start. So if we start with his project, yeah, we'll just extend that or, as a or embed for project, maybe, or maybe that. <laughs> yeah. So have you given any uh, thought to multi-core? Processors yet? I really don't know if <laughs> there there, is, there are uh, multi-core. The R5 can be SMP or lockstep mode, or you can also have a single R5. Then, of course, do not have lockstep or. Oh yeah, or I, I, I mentioned the, the 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 two processor running in parallel. Yeah, there's lockstep mode. Yeah, yeah lockstep. That's but the right name. But you can also run them in SMP apparently. So is there a list or IRC channel where you guys hang out, or how, how should we coordinate for <laughs> um, a wiki page, anything? Well, that would be great. <laughs> uh, we can use the Debian Cross mailing list, maybe. Okay. It's already okay. there. <laughs> oh, it's luck. Anyone? Uh, now the photography is here, so we can. <laughs> 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 well, if it's no, if there is no comment, so thanks for coming. <laughs>